So we can uh, right click a splitter bar and select one of the shortcut menu options to configure splitter bars. The first one is the visible items and the option available there is label. which adds the label for the splitter bar to the front panel. Lab view hides the splitter bar label by default. Next is create, which allows us to create VI server reference, property node, or invoke node to configure the splitter bar programmatically. Next we have this option, remove entire splitter hierarchy. But for that, we need to have some sub splitter bars. So remove entire splitter hierarchy removes the splitter bar that we select and any splitter bars that are children of the splitter bar in the hierarchy. So let's have another splitter bar that is not part of the hierarchy. And let's place some objects in the panes. The objects remain in the same screen position on the front panel. If we select a splitter bar that is not another splitter bar's parent, LabView disables this option. For example, this one does not have any children. So this option is not available. But this one has and this option is available. So let's see how it works. So the next option is remove adjoining splitters. This option removes the splitter bar we select and any splitter bars with ends that touch the selected splitter bar. So let's have a vertical splitter bar that is not touching this splitter bar and let's have a horizontal splitter bar that is touching this splitter bar. So let's right click this splitter bar and select remove with adjoining splitter splitters. So the two adjoining are removed and the non adjoining is not removed. Next option we have is splitter sizing. This option allows us to control how resizing the window effects panes. By selecting an option in the splitter sizing shortcut menu, we can set a pane to remain the same size or stick while the other pane grows or shrinks as we resize the windows. So let's keep splitter sticks left and see how this works and run the and run the VI and let's resize it and since we have ordered it to stick to this side the left side we cannot go beyond this slitter bar let's stop it and let's set it to now splitter sticks right. So it is now sticking to this side. Let's run the VI and see how. So the left pane is now changing size by the but the right pane 
is sticking to its right margin and the right margin is not width is not shortening and the last option is splitter sizes proportionality proportionally we can also choose splitter sizes proportionally to allow both panes to grow or shrink together when we resize the window so let's select it run the VI and now both panes should shrink in width but proportionally proportionally and not beyond where the proportions allow next we have the locked option by default we can when we move the pointer mouse pointer over the splitter bar we can see a two horizontal lines uh, two vertical parallel lines and two right and left pointed arrows so we can move the splitter bar around changing the width of panes but if we lock it then such icon does not display and we cannot then resize the panes we on, we can only increase the width of the splitter bar but the pain the two panes does not change size then we have splitter style which allows us to customize the style of the splitter bar we have modern classic system and next gen style next we have the left pane right pane for vertical scroll bars and upper pane and lower pane for horizontal splitter bars these allow us to configure the selected pane when we select a pane a new shortcut menu opens with options for configuring the selected pane and we will see these details in the next video we can also use the splitter bar properties to configure splitter bars programmatically.